Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have this 2022 Toyota Sequoia and we're gonna do the front grille chrome delete installation for this vehicle. So as you can see, this is how it looks before doing the installation on the front grille. And this is how it looks after the installation. So we use the gloss black material, that way it matches the look of the front grille. And also it changes the look on the vehicle as well. If you like the product, link for the product will be in the description below. But with that being said, let's get started with the installation video. So before starting with the installation, we need to make sure we prep the panel. So to prep it, you could add water on a spray bottle and also adding baby shampoo inside, just maybe like three drops of baby shampoo and that will make your solution to clean off the panel. Once you have your solution ready, spray your solution onto your microfiber towel and just start removing all the contaminants that the panels may have. And then once you're done cleaning the panel, just make sure that everything is completely dry. That way any moisture does not get on the adhesive side of the film and the film will be able to tack down better. So we're going to start by installing the lower piece of the grill first. So you can start from either side. Just make sure wherever you start, you align it. So align it right around where the curve is about to start. So roughly around there. Give yourself enough material to cover the chrome. So you can use the lower half of the panel as the guide in order to align it. Or you can use the bottom half. So let's say we want to align it from the bottom. Just make sure you give yourself enough material to cover everything. That's pretty much it. And you end it on this side. Once you have the panel tacked down, you grab your squeegee and start from the middle and start tacking down the flat area first. And the reason being is just so you can remove any air that's trapped behind the film. And now work on each side. So tack the top piece, take your time. This top piece is good. And just do the same with the other side. And then now the bottom section, the bottom you could either tuck it inside or trim it off. It's completely up to you. Just as long as you don't expose too much of the crown, you should be fine. So it's up to you how you wanna go about doing this side of the panel here. And then for this section, just lift it. That way we could tuck in the film. So that's excess material, we'll trim it off. And you would just rinse and repeat the same for the other side. Okay, so now that we finished tacking down the whole film, the next thing to do is grab your blade and start trimming off any excess material that we don't need. And then once we're done trimming off the excess material, we can move on with the side pieces here. So find the gap, just be careful and trim off the material we don't need. And then just apply heat just to help tack down any film that's still lifting. And then now we can move on with the rest of the piece here. So now we just continue where we left off. So with this one, you could either overlap it just a bit or align it as close to it as possible. So just go like that and just make sure you align it to the back piece first. So that way you have enough material to cover the curve here. So make sure it's aligned, cover the chrome, tack it down, and just apply heat so we can help it tack down here. Grab your squeegee, squeegee the inside, whatever you can, and then anything that remains will get trimmed off. So now that everything's tacked down, just find the gap in between the grill and the panel here. And then that's where you trim off the excess material. Just be careful. And that's how it should look. And then just finish off with the rest. Just take your time trimming. And now we move on to the next piece, which is this side here. Okay, so just continue where we left off. So you could either align it right there or overlap it just a bit. So it should be like this. And then just follow the design of the panel and just make sure you're covering all of the chrome. 
Make sure this area, you remove all of the fingers and any air that's around the flat surface here. And just make sure you have enough material to cover the edge. Grab your heat gun and start applying heat to tack the film down. Remember, just tuck in whatever you can tuck in and then the rest can get trimmed off. It. And now you just move on to the last piece, which is the upper piece here. But before you move on to this piece, you would just go ahead and rinse and repeat the same steps we did for the side to the other side panel. And then once you're done with both sides, move on to the last piece, which will be for the top piece here. Okay, so now we move on to this piece with this one. Just overlap the film just a bit and just start where you left off. Align it, make sure you're covering the chrome. And you should just go up to the edge here. Make sure you squeegee out any air that's stuck behind the film here in the back. Grab your squeegee and start tagging the whole film down. And some of the pieces you can tuck in. So for example here, there is a gap where you can tuck in the film. So just tuck in all the film here. So I could do full coverage on the panel. And then the rest will get trimmed off around this area here because the chrome design ends around here with where the panel starts for the grill here. So make the outline. It should be there and that's it. And now that everything's tacked down, we can start trimming off all this excess material we don't need. And then once we're done trimming off all the excess material, the last step will be pulse heating the whole entire film. And then you're done with the installation. So once you're done with the installation, the last thing to do, like I mentioned, would be post the whole entire panel. So all you need to do is just grab your heat gun, apply heat all over the film, just so we can help the adhesive act very faster and avoid the film from lifting over time. And then once you're done with this step, you're done with the installation. Okay, so that concludes the installation video for the front grill chrome delete for the 2023 Toyota Sequoia. We hope that this video helped you guys out with the installation. If it did, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that way you don't miss any upcoming installation videos. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.